We made the teacher cry. I don't know why I'm so proud of that. She was friends with my mom and dad, so that was a bad choice. All right, remember your next comic. She is very funny, so let's put your hands together for Monica Manusco. That's a mouthful. Hey everybody, no joke, the Chicago Cubs, they sold a sense of Wrigley at the home opener. They had three colognes and they were called dirt, ivy, and leather. <laughs> I stink from doing yard work, but now I'll just say that's not B.O. What you're smelling is the Cubs. Whoa. <laughs> The Chicago White Sox, they also have their own cologne. That one is called Loser. <laughs> so Kim Kardashian, she, um, she planned her baby shower that was CBD themed. To be blunt, that means cigarettes, booze, and drugs. That's why no one can understand Kanye West. Why do you think she keeps having kids? Because I'm pretty sure only little kids know what Kanye is saying. They're like little interpreters. Or she hates being alone with him. <laughs> the guy from the Trivago commercials, Timothy Williams, he was arrested for a DUI. I hope that he finds the ideal price for an attorney on one of those attorney comparison websites. <laughs> Can scientists hack memory? This would help weed smokers cope with trauma. They would finally remember why they are standing in front of the fridge just staring at it. The struggles are real. Scientists reveal the first image ever made of a black hole. One time I put a black hole in my living room and it brought all the furniture together. That joke's <laughs> Bozo's house is where I work. On a typical day, when you walk in, you run into a belly dancer, someone wearing a shark's head, and a guy singing, God bless WGN. And those people are just the managers. <laughs> I enjoy working out the rec center all the time. Usually I do those really, really intense Zumba classes because that's where I get to meet new people, like the paramedics. <laughs> doesn't sound too natural. So I live in a town called Justice, and people are always asking me, is there justice in justice? Well, is there joy in the town of joy? You ever eat a sandwich a sandwich? How much is worth actually worth? I know there's nobody normal and normal because I went to college there. <laughs> so I met two new people on the south side today. Marion at Park and Al Sith. <laughs> oh yeah, and I met Forest Park too. So I really don't like to swear, but sometimes my mom makes me so flippin' mad. <laughs> That once, I ended up calling her an F and B. Yeah, you got that one right. Fabulous and beautiful. <laughs> I just I love you. Love you. <laughs> oh my. So, I have an extensive perfume collection. My favorite scent is called Red Flag. Every time I wear it, I attract men that are either married, jobless, or bipolar. <laughs> and if I'm really lucky, it's a combination of at least two of them. <laughs> so, um, I'm never getting married. People keep telling me, oh, the right person will come along at the right time. Maybe my guy was born in the 1800s. I have to build a time machine or something. So, I love going to weddings. I'm a part-time wedding crasher. 
<laughs> One time I went to a wedding that was so emotional that even the cake was in tears. <laughs> My family is the perfect model of diversity. We have Polish, Mexican, and Asian. Or as I prefer to say, drunk, drunker, and slutty. <laughs> There's also Indian, but I have reservations talking about them. Right there. Our family reunions look like an episode of Orange is the New Black, minus the orange jumpsuits. There's a lot of alcohol, a lot of smoking, and you never know who will end up choking someone. So I'll leave you with this. My mom has a very heavy Polish accent. She is constantly making up words, so I just go along with it. So the other day, she's like, Monica, come with me to the taco nest. I thought, cool, new place to get tacos. Nope, we get there, and the place is called the tobacco nest. No tacos, all cigarettes. Then later on, she goes, we go shopping at Nostradamus. <laughs> I predict that's not what it's called. <laughs> so when we get there, the place is actually called Nordstrom. <laughs> but my ultimate favorite is when she asks me this. Can you please put a French bread in my hair? <laughs> Jesus. Not to go against the grain, I'm doing it anyway. Well, that's my time. Thank you for being a great crowd. My name is Monica really hard today and he's got to go to work really early tomorrow so we're having to come up here before